When you think of an oak leaf, what comes to mind? Probably something that looks like this, or perhaps this, which is understandable because there's tons of oaks that have leaves with those general shapes. But there are quite a few oaks out there that have leaves shaped more like those of chestnuts than what we traditionally think of as oak leaves. One of these species, which happens to get its common name due to its leaves resembling those of a native species of chestnut, is a white oak known as the chinkapin oak, Quercus muhlenbergii, which has a wide range in the eastern United States and is most often seen growing in mixed forest in areas with calcareous soils and limestone outcroppings and neutral to slightly alkaline pH. Chinkapin oak will normally attain a height of 40 to 60 feet with a 50 to 70 foot crown spread. But this can vary quite a bit depending on growing location. And there are records of some very large individual trees. It usually grows as a single trunk tree, and when grown in the open, it has a broad, open, spreading crown that is quite eye-catching, even after the leaves have dropped in the winter. Woods-grown trees will have much narrower and denser crowns. Trees growing in poor soils or in areas with frequent disturbance may have a shrubbier, multi-stemmed growth habit. Chickapin oak leaves are four to eight inches long and one and a half to three inches wide, with some leaves resembling the shape of chestnut leaves and others being widest near the tip. They are coarsely toothed with large, curved dentations and have 10 to 14 teeth per side, each with a vein running its length. The upper surface of the leaf is shiny green and smooth. The lower surface is pale green to whitish and dull with minute, tough to see hairs. Fall color is shades of brown and yellow. The bark is ashy gray and thin with obvious flaking and scaling. Chinkapin oak acorns are on the smaller side and are from one half to one inch long, egg shaped, with one third to half the nut covered by a cap that has flattened grayish hairy scales. Acorns ripen to a light brown color in the fall and drop in September through October when they are quickly devoured by wildlife. The key features that set chinkapin oak apart from the other white oaks are their distinctive bark, the habitat it grows in, and leaves with 10 to 14 pairs of parallel veins on each side that all end in a tooth. If you love learning about our awesome Eastern Oaks, like the chinkapin oak, pretend that like button is a ripe chinkapin oak acorn and crunch it like a deer. There are several other white oaks that may be confused with chinkapin oak. Mainly the chestnut oak, Quercus montana, which has similar leaves but has bark that is dark, non-scaly, has deep furrows and distinct triangular ridges, and also has much larger acorns. The swamp chestnut oak, Quercus mishoyi, which has similar bark, but has leaves that are much wider towards the tip and have 15 to 20 rounded, blunt teeth per side and much larger acorns. The swamp white oak, Quercus bicolor, which has similar bark and has leaves with a white undersurface, but the undersurface is distinctly velvety in texture. And dwarf chinkapin oak, Quercus prenoides, which is an oak with a shrub growth habit and has leaves with normally fewer than 10 teeth per side. Doug Talame brought the importance of our native oaks to insects, birds, and other wildlife to the public in his excellent book, The Nature of Oaks, which should be on every backyard ecologist reading list. You can find a link to this must-read book on the Backyard Ecology Recommendations page, which I will link in the description. The chinkapin oak is not a major lumber tree due to its size. The wood is, however, harvested at times and used much like the wood of other white oaks. It is an excellent tree for wildlife and usually produces acorns at an earlier age than most white oak species, in as little as 10 years, but usually closer to 20 years. Of course, there are a lot of variables that play into how quickly they will produce. Competition from other trees is a huge factor, as is the amount of available sunlight. Chinkapin oak loves sunlight and will look better and produce more acorns when grown in an open setting. The chinkapin oak gets its common name from the resemblance of its leaves to those of the Allegheny chinkapin, a shrubby cousin to the American chestnut. There are several other white oak species besides the chinkapin oak that have leaves that don't fit the general idea of what an oak leaf looks like. One of those species is sometimes confused with the chinkapin oak because it has leaves with a similar whitish underside. In fact, its leaves are so distinctively bicolored green and white, it was given its scientific name because of it. That oak is the swamp white oak, Quercus bicolor. And you can learn all about it in this video and be sure to get out and explore nature in your backyard.